Okay, good morning friends. Today we are going to discuss uh, geometrical construction. This is the starting topic and this all geometrical construction procedures are helps us to do the major problems. So these are the indirect methods to solve the problems. Okay. So from these geometrical constructions, uh, geometrical constructions. So first uh, we see how to divide a line. So divide division of line. A length of the line is there. A length of the line is there. It is A, one end and other end is B. Okay. And without using scale, without knowing the length of the line, we can divide this into equal number of parts. Okay. So that is a width compass. With compass, take more than half is the radius. More than half is the radius. And keep compass at one end. One end. And take radius is equal to more than half. It is a blind radius, more than half. And draw the arcs both sides of this line. Just draw the arcs. Okay? So like the draw the arc both sides of this line. And with the same radius, with the same radius, keep B in the center and cut this arcs. Cut this two arcs. Now join these two lines. Join these two lines by a straight line. So easily we can divide it or bisect the line into equal number of two halves. In the same manner, next we can go for, next we can go for, suppose the length of the line is there, we can divide into equal number of parts, number of equal parts. So line division into, line division into, into number of equal parts, number of equal parts. Suppose the, the same thing once again, one end is A and another end is B. Now we are dividing this line into equal number of parts. Suppose you are going to do three number of equal parts, four or five or six. So without knowing the length or without using any compass or whatever it may be, so we are we can divide this into equal number of parts. Suppose uh, from end A, draw a inclined line. And this inclined line must be less than 90 degrees. So suppose if you draw here, it is 90 degrees. So less than 90 degrees, you can take any inclined line. This inclined line also unknown length of the line. So with once again compass, by using the compass, keep any blind radius, keep any blind radius and uh, take uh, on this inclined line number of uh, equal parts. So you can cut uh, number of uh, equal divisions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 like that. You can go for any number of uh, equal parts. And give the numbering 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. And uh, suppose if you want to divide six, 6 equal number of parts, you take 6 equal points on this line. And join this 6 point to this last point B. Okay. Now join this all the points parallel to this line. Parallel to this line. And extend up to the base line. So automatically you will get equal number of 6 uh, parts. Okay. 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash and 6 dash. Okay. So like that we can go for any number of equal numbers. So we can bisect the line or we can bisect the equal number of parts for a given unknown length of the line. And next third one is, third one is bisecting of an arc. Bisecting of an, bisecting of an arc. Suppose unknown length of the arc is there. This is the unknown length of the arc. This origin is O and one is B and other side is A and B. Now, this is unknown, unknown radius of the arc. At 20 degrees or 30 whatever it may be. If you want to bisect it. So, simple procedure is O is the center and you can take any blind radius and draw the arc on this, uh, arc on this uh, two lines. 
Why the why is the center and any blind radius? Draw the arc. So while drawing this arc, it cuts these two lines at these two points, small a and small b. Now join the small a and small b. Join the small a and small b by straight line. By straight line. Now we can know we can measure this length of the line a to b. We can measure this length small a to small b and mark the center point. Now this is one point. And what is the other point? Join these two points and extend the line. So easily we can bisect the arc. Now this is the two equal halves. This is bisecting of an arc. Next fourth one is fourth one is tangent to the circle. Tangent to the circle. Tangent to the circle. Suppose a unknown radius of the circle is there. Draw a circle with unknown radius. Okay. Now the circle means we know this is the touching all the number of points. If you join all the number of points on the circumference of this, then you can get the circle. Okay. So for tangent, what you have to do from the radius center point, draw the any straight line towards the circumference point. So it touches at one point. It touches one point. So perpendicular to this line, perpendicular to the extended line, if you draw the line, this line is called, we can call it is tangent. This line we can call it is tangent. So, so these are the few methods. So, so many other things are there. Internal tangent, external tangent, parallel lines, okay, inclined lines, like that. So many other things are there in these geometrical constructions. But these are the main things. These are the main things. It helps us to solve the remaining coming problems okay after completion of this uh, we see we see the what are the dimensions procedures what are the dimensions procedures these are all belongs to sheet number one already given in the previous video okay okay now next one is the dimensioning dimensioning also very very important why because many students uh, get failed in the drawing because of this dimensioning dimensioning numbering given data and hp to hp difference if this if you follow these four rules if you follow the four rules then easily you can get the maximum marks in the engineering drawing so one of the parameters important parameters is dimensioning so why we should give the dimensioning means after completion of the figure whatever the dimensions you are taking length breadth width whatever things say we have to show on this graph or diagram. Suppose, suppose this is the some length of the line. So, from the baseline, from the actual figure, take 10 mm away from this. Take 10 mm away from this and uh, give the dimensioning. Give the so draw the border lines. So everything with uh, everything with scale and uh, uh, mini drafter. Okay, you should not go for any rough work. So this is suppose this is 20 mm. So like that you write 20 mm. And dimensioning num uh, procedure also is always above the line. Above the line. Suppose if you are drawing showing here 70 mm, draw here like that 70 mm. Above the line. Suppose the uh, right side you are showing. Right side you are showing show the arc mark like that. Arrow mark. Arrow mark is the uh, 1 is to 3 ratio. This is total length is 3 and this is 1 mm. So this is also uh, suppose 20 mm, write 20 here. And suppose uh, if you want to write here 10 mm like that, you can go for 10 mm. And uh, from this side also above the line, from this side also above the line. If you want to show on the top also, top also above the line, you have to give the dimensioning. Give the dimensioning. Okay, like that. And suppose if you want to give left side, left side also procedure is above the line only. Suppose this is 50 mm right like the 50 mm so see here sequence uh, in a anti-clockwise direction 70 mm above 20 mm above here this line above this line is above this line is above so like that you can uh, see anti-clockwise direction the dimensioning rule is always above the above the dimensioning line and the procedure of the dimensioning arrow mark must be thick with hp pencil this uh, numbering with must be hp pencil hp pencil and uh, these arrows with HP pencil, 
this arrows with hb pencil and whatever this extended lines are there all the extended line with two h pencils so this lines with the two h pencil an actual figure actual figure with the hb pencil this whatever is our total actual figure is there this is with hb pencil so this difference if you maintain a so easily we can identify the which is the figure and which is the dimensioning easily we can identify suppose if you go these are all the lines with the hb pencil so we cannot identify actual figure so in examiner also he cannot give the maximum marks so this uh, dimensioning also very important uh, in engineering drawing okay so now with this uh, we can end this video and uh, next class next class we go for next class we go for what are the polygons are there what are the polygons are there so different methods of polygons are there that we will see in the next video okay so thank you for your cooperation okay